Anyway, back to this discussion of this game. What I'm doing here is um, is something that I've established. I wouldn't say like patented, but I would say invented. Yeah, it's a concept that I like to, that I like to call scrap. Now, I do have a YouTube video on it. It's years old. You can look it up if you want to. Well, under that, it's called crap. But if you look up my name, you can find it. I don't do YouTube. It's just, I only put a couple of videos from there, or from my stream here, there, just to, you know, save it for longer than Twitch keeps it. But anyway, so you, you can look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. But I'll explain it briefly here. So, Cropsford sucks capturing it solo, and I only ever play solo, so that's all I ever do. So, it's notoriously difficult to beat Cropsford because all three guards, or correction, all three flags have guards on it, as you can probably see. And these guards are not pushover either. They're probably, they're, they're clearly weaker than resource guards, ex with the exception of being the, uh, the third flag over there, because it has even more guards than the resource guard, the resource flag, usually. But anyway, um, so it's really, really hard to capture solo, because each guard has, I believe, a respawn time of five minutes. Well, to capture each flag for one person, it takes a minute and a half to get enough um, capture points or whatever, enough credit on the flag in order for it to be captured. Or in order to allow it to be captured. So a minute and a half for one person. So do the math, there's three flags, a minute and a half a piece, it's four and a half minutes. Which means you have a whopping 30 seconds that allows to kill all, like, the, the, the second and third guard, basically, because, you know, the first guard reset timer will start once you kill the guards, clearly. So you have about 30 seconds to kill this set of guards and that set of guards and transit from the first one to the second one to the third one. 30 seconds. Basically, it's not really doable. Could it be doable if you had really, really good burst DPS and could instantly clown the guards? Yes. I've seen it done. I know it can happen. But it doesn't really allow for any mistakes. Like, if the, if the guard blocks you or gets a full heal off or something, then you might miss that precious 0.2 seconds you need to successfully capture it. And, well, there you go. Your attempt's wasted. Then you just like, go to the next flag and try and... It's, it, it's a mess. So we're around the rosy, and it, it's just not very pretty. So, my AoE DPS is not that great, clearly. So I, I can't do that. I can't just say, oh, I'll just instantly, I, I'll just one-shot insta-give all these guards, etc., etc., no problem. Can't do it. So I developed a system called, uh, technically called Crap, but then I have to rename it to Scrap because the S in front stands for solo, because the whole setup is meaningless if you have, if you have friends. If you even have one ally, capturing is, is trivial. There, there's no issue to it at all. It's, this, this concept only applies if you're by yourself, because with a friend or two or three or whatever, it becomes moot. But anyway, so what you do is, if you, well, if you watch me, what I just did, you'll, you'll see it quite clearly. What's going on over there? Is that a... Is it, oh, it's a red player. Crap. Well, it's okay. It's okay. So, with the scrap method, it's actually not a problem having a little bit of PvP. You can actually have a couple of light distractions like this. As long as I kill them within the first, I don't know, minute or three or so. Oh, what the heck was that? As long as I kill them rel relatively quick in the first couple of seconds. Seconds. What is going on? Oh, he's a bashing me. Oh, that's not cool. Well, it is cool for him, not me. Okay, so a bash build. Arcanist bash build. That's different, I guess. Huh. If I can catch him. More ridiculous damage shields that everyone loves nowadays. Also, all right, got him. The last tick of my vampire mode. Finished him off. Fantastic. So, um, I might, and it's, it's a big might, but I might just barely have enough time to finish capturing it. Although, uh, wait, how long did that fight take? That fight took 40 seconds. Uh, I think I can. I, I do think I can. We'll see. It's going to be really, really, really close. I believe I can. And that's kind of the benefit to the, the scrap method. You can actually have a small little bit of PvP as long as you keep it relatively light and quick and still get the capture off. Because, if you, again, if you watched what I was doing, I took the outlier flag first. Or, correction, the, uh, the merchant flag, as it's technically called, is the outlier flag, I think. I'm not sure what the titles are central flag, this is the outlier, and that's the merchant. Okay. So anyway, so I killed the the um, merchant flag first, because there's only two guards there. It's clearly the easiest one to take. And the reason being is that you kill the guards, stay on the flag, cap it. Fully. 100% capped. You'll see why that's important soon, hopefully, if, if it works out. 
But anyway, so you cap it, kill the guards, no problem. Can I get there? Can I get there? Oh, I need like one tick. One tick to cap it. Come on. Got it. Aha, perfect. So that is a, a perfect, like absolutely, like that was flawless. Perfect implementation of the, the scrap method. Well, and scrap stands for uh, solo Cropsford rapid assimilation procedure. <laughs> now an ally comes up. Oh, look at this. Why can't I get players like that on the enemy teams? Well, I guess earlier I did find one or two. But, you know, 19,000 health, super squishy looking, just, just like a snack. It's just so rare. But to see them on the yellow team, why can't I see them on the red and uh, blue teams? Anyway, so that was a perfect implementation of scrap. Because I even had a, a nice little juicy PvP in, in the rotation and still captured it without much ado. But anyway, so yeah, so the trick is you take, you kill the guards here, you fully cap it. And once you kill these two guards, that starts the five minute guard respawn timer. And so that way, you, you know, it only takes a minute or two minutes to cap this flag to full, and that's fine. So you kill the guards, cap the flag, and then you just walk away. And I like to just kind of crouch over here, or just hang out, or just look for other players, just chill, because at that point, it's just a waiting game. And that's called the rapid assimilation procedure, but this is as fast as it goes. So yeah, so you do that and you just kind of wait. You chill, you do whatever you want. And then as soon as the guards respawn, that's when the timer, the real timer starts. Because the one guard will spawn, you kill him as fast as possible. The other guard will, you know, be there. You kill him as fast as possible. And at that point, once those two guards are dead, the five minute to guard timer starts. Here's the important thing. Five minutes, but this flag is already 100% captured. So instead of a potential four and a half minutes to capture all three flags, now you have three minutes of capture time, you know, a minute and a half for the middle flag and a minute and a half for the outlier flag. So you basically save yourself a minute and a half. Now, with, with some allowance for killing the guards. And frankly, you don't have to kill the merchants. Like the merchants, even if they're here standing on the flag, do not count towards capturing. So you just kill two guards, and I kill the merchants for fun anyway. But kill the guards and you move on. And... Then if another, and then if another player decides to capture something, it you know, makes it difficult, like that one guy did. He touched the flag just enough to screw up the capture and then came after me over here at the other flag. And when he did, I killed him and then fixed the flag and then captured the other flag and we captured cops no problem. That's, that's the whole point. So yeah, so instead of four and a half minutes, you have, or four and a half minutes of capturing to do, you have uh, three minutes. So that, that basically frees up that extra minute and a half where you would be capping the flag that you can dick around. Like, right there, I spent 40 seconds killing the player. Yeah, that was how long that fight lasted, 40 seconds. Then you have to, you know, assume that it took a little bit of time to move here and there to chase him down, etc. So he was kind enough to come greet me in between the two resources when the fight took place. But, um, yeah, 40 minutes. For a 40 seconds. And it worked out perfectly. Because it gives you a whole minute and a half of extra leeway to play with. Plus, even if you're a little bit late, because that first flag is fully capped, if one guard spawns, it'll start capturing it, but it won't instantly capture it, or it won't instantly ruin your capture. It'll still take one guard um, 30 seconds of standing there to to uh, revert the flag such that it's no longer captured by you. So two guards take 15 seconds. So both guards respawn at the same exact time, 15 seconds of staying there, and then they'll, they'll destroy your capture progress. So 15 seconds is a lot better than instant. So, uh, yeah. Works out quite nicely. In fact, what I should probably do is take that, um, that gameplay I just did and clip it and put it on YouTube as the new scrap method. Because the old, cr the old crap method, or the old crap, was starting with the outlier flag, but then I changed it to the uh, merchant flag because it's just easier. Easier, faster, simpler, and why not? So who knows? I might clip it that uh, the whole segment well, might uh, take that snippet of the whole segment and upload to YouTube for the first time in I don't know how many years since I've done YouTube. Hold on, account's still there. <laughs> Just to, to show the updated method that it still works. And and this isn't scribe. I, I don't have any scribing. There's nothing fancy about it. Like there's, you can use any skill at all as long as you can kill the guards without, you know, sucking. <laughs> as long as you don't struggle killing these guards, it should be pretty uh, pretty effortless and meaningful for most players. But anyway, like the outlier flag is probably the hardest one because it's got two honor guard, two menders, and two uh, melee guards, which are, well, just regular guards, I guess. Pretty nasty. 
to kill all six of those at once. But you know, again, if you have any re respectable AOE, you can do it pretty quick and easy. But anyway, yeah, maybe I, I will uh, try and upload that little segment to, to YouTube. Because I don't do video editing. I don't do any of that nonsense. Uh, just could I? Yeah, I mean, video editing should be pretty easy, right? I've never actually looked into it myself. But based on the sheer number of content creators out there who do video editing, I'm, I'm sure it's not hard. But, nah, that's, that's, a, that's a skill that could be useful, but I've... <laughs> I've already done so much learning, so much stuff. I yeah, I'll, I'll leave that to, to everybody else to do it. You know, high quality videos that people like to watch are just simple garbage uploads from from Twitch that, and eh, maybe some people care about whatever. It doesn't matter. Like, don't even don't even bother like what's the word for it? Liking, subscribing, all that. Since I'm not a YouTuber, I don't care about what the values of likes are, subscriptions. That's irrelevant. I just use it to put there so that way if people want to talk about it or you know, want to want an example of what I'm babbling about when I'm talking about scrap, it would be there. 